social and ethical issues, alternative procedures. Now, in relation to alternative procedures, a contingency plan needs to be in place to deal with transactions when a system is not available. This may occur as a result of a malfunction in the system, a period where the system maintenance is being completed, or a power outage is rendering the system offline. For these reasons, alternatives for when the information system is not available need to be established. So basically what we're saying is, what are we going to do if the main system goes down? We need to have some sort of backup in place. Now, this backup could be some sort of paper-based system where we document down all the primary keys of the products we're selling and then enter them into the system when they come back online. Or it could be some sort of offline terminal that we can use that may be battery powered or connected to some sort of different generator that has a version of the system on it, which then can be used to update the, the main system at a later date. So some sort of plan needs to be in place so that we can still continue to do business even though our system is down. Now, these alternative procedures need to be periodically tested in order to ensure that they work effectively so that when the system does go down, if or when the system goes down, hopefully it doesn't go down, but the participants can be confident that the procedure will work effectively. Okay, so we need to train in it, we need to understand what it is, our staff need to be familiar in what it is so that if the scenario happens, we're ready to go. So firstly, let's look at some of the negative implications of this. The first one is this periodic testing. You're putting in ongoing time and resources, which is required for the testing of the alternative procedures for the system in the event of the error actually occurring. So we're pretty much having this contingency in place, even though this scenario may hopefully never happen. And so in time and resources, that costs money. We're taking people off their jobs in order to train them. That costs money to maintain this, but we do have to maintain this because they have to understand how this contingency plan works. Secondly, flowing on from that, the participant training and workload. Okay, how motiv motivated are staff going to be in order to do this training? They need to be trained to use the alternative procedure, which will also take time and have costs associated with it, as the participants need to be removed from their work to be trained for a strategy or have a scenario, which hopefully will never happen. Okay, so there is a cost associated to doing all this. So that's pretty much the negative sides of it, time and costs and resources. Though obviously on the positive side of things, we've got a contingency plan, okay? Like the old Batman thing, huh? Whenever he faces someone, he's always got a plan up his sleeve. That's what we've got for our organization. We've got a backup plan if our system goes down. So the organization can be confident in the event that the system goes down, the system can still operate using the alternative procedure. And then as a flow on from that, time is money. Okay, when the system is down and if we can't do business, that's going to cost money. All right, but if we can continue to do the business and still sell to customers, sell our products, even though we may be using a different type of system, we can still make money. So as the company can still operate using the alternative procedure, it can continue to do business with its clients and customers and in turn continue to make money. And hence, that's why it's important we have an alternative procedure in order to run if the system does go down. So I hope this gives you an understanding of the value and importance of having alternative procedures. Essentially, a contingency plan for if the system goes down, negative side of things, we've got to periodically test it, which takes up time and resources in order to ensure that participants are confident in using the system. But on the positive side, we do have this backup plan and this backup system to run if the system goes down. And so the organization can continue to run using this alternative procedure and continue to make money.